Well, welcome back to River City Live. We are pausing for pets, and I'm here with Sam from Jack's Team Maine and her favorite baby, Finnegan. Yes. So Sam, tell us about this sweet man. Yeah, this is Finnegan. He is seven years old and he is just lots of love. Like he just wants to hang out, be around people, loves to give kisses. He was even giving kisses to some of the folks who were on right before us. Yes. So he's just looking for a family where he can run around, be active, and at the end of the day, cuddle up for some love. I mean, he has such a great personality. I feel like he's been yes. smiling the whole time. Yeah, he and is. I mean, and you guys had to come through a really bad storm and he did so well he like, coming great. over. Here. Yeah, he had no qualms about the rain. He was like trotting along through the puddles in the car, <laughs> super well behaved. He was just excited to be here and meet everybody. I know. He's like, I'm sniffing all the things. It always <laughs> smells like food in here. What did Bruce leave in the trash can that I can go check out? I know. He always drops Cheetos. He's very now, curious. Along with Finnegan, look how curious he is. I love this. And he's and he's seven years old. And the yeah. fact that he still has this great and excited energy is awesome. Yeah, he's got a pep in his step. You know, senior dog is just a suggestion. Exactly, exactly. We like we like a dapper middle-aged man. We do. We like it. We like it just mature enough. Now, in addition to Finnegan, I know you guys have a lot of fur babies that are looking for homes and you guys have a great event coming up. Yeah, so uh, next week on January 24th is Change a Pet's Life Day. And if you haven't heard of that, it is a day where we ask for folks to consider donating to the Jacksonville Humane Society to help special needs pets. So Finnegan here is, you know, he's a healthy boy. He's, he's doing great, but we do have many animals who come to JHS who need a little bit of extra help to get ready for their new loving homes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you have room in your heart, maybe in your pocketbook to give a little donation to the Jacksonville Jacksonville Humane Society, we would love for you to consider it. And maybe if you have space for a furry friend, you could adopt as well. Absolutely. Now, if you are following along with them on social media, they do a great job telling you about the stories behind the different pets. One of them this week actually went through like a very extensive amputation, but is doing yeah. so well. And you said, hey, is this a puppy or a kangaroo? Because he's still hopping yes. around yeah. loving life. <laughs> yeah, Talia, she, I was calling her a kangaroo because mm -hmm. she was hopping around, but you know, she hops to her own rhythm. She's still loving life and she's on a foster trip right now. So we're really, really hoping Thing that it works out. Uh, but yeah, Talia is just one of the many pets who, like I said, needs a little bit of extra help to get to the point to live their best lives with a family. Fantastic. So if we want to stay connected with you and we do want to support you, whether that's financially, whether that's with just an easy home for the night away, yeah. um, or you know, with this upcoming special event, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, so you can check out all of our available pets and upcoming events at jackshumane.org. Uh, you can also follow us on social media. Like you said, Jack's Humane. We're always sharing stories and cute pics. Um, and you can come visit us at 8464B Boulevard. We're open seven days a week, even in this storm. We still got animals who want to go home. <laughs> I know. I really have to give you guys a shout out because when we had this big weather event uh, a week or two weeks ago, all of the uh, JHS employees were in there reading books to animals with yeah. like white noise on and stuff like that so that they weren't scared about the storm. But Finnegan said, doesn't bother me. Just no. more time for cuddles on the couch. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we, we really love getting the love on these animals until they go home. So we appreciate everybody who supports us and makes that possible. Yeah, well, thank you, everybody, for supporting our Pausing for Pets segment. And thank you to Forever Vets, who makes it happen every week. Now, we're going to take a quick look at our window for a weather snapshot brought to you by Paramount Builders, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 